Hello guys, it's Danny here once again and today I'll be giving you guys a lap guide on the brand new Time Tower Challenge uh, in the Honda NSX 2017 and we are in Daytona for this Time Trial Challenge. So I'm going to show you guys how to get gold medal, how to get a gold medal time. Uh, we did a 1 minute 50.260. We did spend quite a bit of time on this time trial. And uh, yeah, you can see we, we're using counter steer assist for this run. I know I usually don't use it, but this car is just really, uh, just a little too unstable for my liking as it has no aerodynamics. And uh, it has, um, we're using the sport shelf tires for this one. And of course it has the, it has the road car suspension being a road car so the mechanical grip is very low so once you pass a small uh, mini banking just as you pass the first corner sorry just as you just as you pass the start uh finish line this end you want to start breaking in a straight line in a down the gear slowly and you can see the staying input i am i have a very very little staying input to the left going uh, to avoid the car from snapping on the rear under braking as you know, road car suspensions uh, do not handle uh, a lot of braking pressure pretty well. So you got to be very gentle with both the steering and the downstairs as uh, I'm hard on the brake here. See, as you can see on the uh, telemetry, the HUD, sorry, that I'm on the full brakes here for turn one. So down the gears, down the second for acceleration. Once you pass the pit wall on the left hand side, this hang up the third and stay and staying the car smoothly applying a bit of throttle here and going full throttle once you're freeing the grip uh this car is just hybrid when you're on the corner exit so it's very helpful so the next breaking point is once you pass the one board on the right hand side this end you want to break in a straight line down the second and you actually to third again when you're in the middle of the apex uh get on the power early as uh, I forgot to mention that, that this is a four-wheel drive uh, car, so you can get on the power pretty early, and the car will rotate. So it's flat here, but you got to be very careful. You got to you got to get an early turn in on that uh, fast left hander, otherwise you might understeer into the grass. So for next corner, you want to brake when the off-road on the left hand side starts, breaking a straight line again. Done the second for extra braking and rotation. So up to third. Once you're aligned with the yellow curbs on the right, then you go on full throttle. So once you pass the one board again on the right hand side, then you want to brake in a straight line. Down the second gear to get the extra braking going and exit in third gear. Try and balance the throttle and keep the to, to keep the hybrid going on the corner exit, just keep a 45 to 50 percent uh, sorry, 45 to 50 degree of staying angle to the left on the corner. As you can see, while staying in the car, I was using hybrid. So the hybrid gives that extra acceleration that you need out of the critical corners. So the next breaking point, approaching the final chicane, just as you are facing the number two board on the fencing, this end you break in a, you're breaking, turn your car slightly. Once you're down the fourth here, try and place half the car, or basically two wheels on this yellow curb here. So that's the first part of the chicane. And then once you pass the first set of curbs, brake again and keep the thing to, to a minimal to let the car rotate. And then you slowly get on the power and you can cut the last part of, cut, you can cut the last part of the chicane, but you must have two wheels on the yellow curb. If you don't have two wheels on the yellow curb or you put the whole car on the grass, you're gonna get a penalty. So it's critical that you put two wheels on the curbs at all times when you are trying to extend the track limits on the sea game and yeah that's about it hug the inside there and that is a lap guide of uh the honda nsx 2017 road car at daytona international speedway so i'm going to be playing the lap for you guys again and uh yeah i hope you guys really uh, find this lap guide helpful and uh a bit entertaining <laughs> so yeah you can, as you can see this car is very difficult to drive um and uh so it, it might be a bit hard to get gold this week especially if you're not experienced with uh road cars but i hope i have explained myself pretty well with this guy and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll leave you guys with a no commentary person on the lap